With cameras everywhere and tech getting smarter, you'd think shoplifting would be a thing of the past, but some still take the risk. Are they not thinking straight or just chasing that thrill of not getting caught? Well, let's find out, because here are five times when shoplifters realize they've been caught. Number 5. 20-year-old caught stealing from store In a sunlit street, a young man named Theo wheels a skateboard, his movements hinting at a carefree spirit. Little does he know that his recent visit to the local CVS has set the stage for an unforeseen confrontation. Inside the store, Theo, driven by a pressing need, bypasses the aisles of everyday items, focusing solely on his objective, the modium. We all see him over here, but I, I, I saw him right in his hand. He literally walked right past, he saw I was in one aisle and went past him and up the other aisle. Why is my life like With precise movements, he secures the boxes, his actions swift and aimed at alleviating his discomfort. Back on the street, Theo's leisurely skateboarding session comes to an abrupt halt. Yo, my man! Yo! Sir! Yo! Come here! What's up, dude? Sorry. What's going on, man? How you doing? Good. Approached by the officer, his casual demeanor masks the turmoil within. You are? I'm Theo, nice to meet Theo, you. Theo, where are you coming from? Uh, I was just skating around the neighborhood. All right. Were you in CVS? Oh, uh, yes, I was. Did you buy anything? Uh, no, I didn't. Did you take anything? Yes, I did. Surprisingly, Theo comes clean to the officer. I took the modium. Why? Because I was having some digestive issues and my parents have had control of my, my money lately. The conversation turns, with Theo confessing to the act of shoplifting. Alright, hold on a sec, how old are you? I'm, I'm 20 years old. 20 years old? Where do you live? I live in Red Bank over here. Okay. It's 4 2, I'm out with him. Driven by necessity rather than malice. To uh, take in the item. I'm so scared. Do you have any ID on you? No, I don't. No. I don't even have my. Theo's distress becomes more evident. Oh, Alright. Anything else on you? What up? What else you got on you? More, just more modium. Where at? As the officer probes deeper. Why are you taking all this? That's a lot of modium, my man. Right. As the conversation progresses, Theo's true situation becomes clear. Do you sell it? No, I like the, I, I promise you, I don't I do not sell it. <laughs> um, but like I've literally just been having like really bad stomach issues lately. So you stole It's not just about his stomach problems. Stuff like daily, like I have like a little bit of a habit. It doesn't like get you high or anything, but I do have a habit of like doing it a lot. Doing a lot? What makes you get started yeah. on that? He's a young adult grappling with life's challenges. Like yeah, be straight with me, honest, man. honest with you. I was uh I was previously an addict, and um, when I was dealing... What was your drug of choice? Uh, oxy. Okay. And uh, this... His recent actions reflect his ongoing struggle with health and well-being. Okay. Are you detoxing now? I'm not detoxing now, but I did have a relapse recently. And... What's re recently? Um... The officer investigates further. No, Tell me I, now. No, I understand. You good? No, this is all I have. Uh, you've been arrested before? Once before. Where at? Also in Red Bank. For... No, for, um... Theo opens up about his troubled past. What's your shop up there? Are you familiar with Kratom? Kratom? No, explain it to me. They sell it at smoke shops. It's like almost like a legal opiate. Okay. And that's what got me in. And his experience as a recovering addict. Okay. I'm really trying to turn myself around. Like, I recently hey. got a re out of rehab. Where'd you go to rehab? I went to New Hope in Marlboro. Oh, nice. Okay. And I just got out literally like a couple... Now informed about the situation, the officer takes the required legal actions. You see the stuff? Alright. You have nothing else on you, right? No, I promise. Right. Just put your hands behind your back for me, man. While Theo's arrest is unavoidable... Listen, you are under arrest for shoplifting right now, okay? Yes, sir. Anything else I should know about? Because we're going to go back there and talk to him. Did you take anything else that you might have dumped? No, we're gonna I, check I promise cameras. you. I just, promise just you. Just the four box. It's conducted with dignity, acknowledging Theo's humanity. Listen, you screwed up. Well, we'll take care of this, and we'll, and we'll try to get you some help, all right? Yes, sir. All right. What's your first name again? Uh, Theo. Theo. H -E -O. Okay. I'm, I'm really... As the officers prepare to transport Theo, the reality of his situation settles in. Gonna, tell me the truth. Are you going to get sick on me? No, I promise you. You good? I'm, I'm good. All right. All right. 
Let me just check. Here. Someone walk over here. Subsequently, the officer heads back to the store. Diuretics. That's what I thought it was. Here. Four of these. This is. That's it. Okay. That's exactly what I thought it was. That's why I thought it was. All right. Cool. Let's, uh. The size of it. Yeah. Let's take it. And collaborates with the manager. It's going to be, uh, the name brand. All four are the same. Sharing crucial information. I thought it was a juvenile getting contacts because he doesn't have a card. I think he's an adult. So we're going to get that information. So. I can't even see the dollar, man. But it's online. Alright, that's fine. Theo was arrested and charged with shoplifting. He pled guilty and was fined a total of $415. Number four. Shoplifters try to flee from the scene, still get caught. Two women fresh from their shoplifting spree, attempt to make a swift exit. Their white hatchback Chevrolet becomes the centerpiece of their downfall as a local police officer, already en route, spots them trying to flee. The officer initiates a traffic stop and approaches them casually. Hello, I'm Officer Elder, Austin Police Department. The reason I'm stopping here is, do you guys have a little incident at Walmart right now at all? No. You guys weren't coming from Walmart? No, we're from Okay. Yeah, okay. Do you have your- Amelia quickly denies any involvement with the store. Here is because they had a shop looking okay. They described a white hatchback Chevy car, kind of what you have. Oh, okay. Well, I'm a, still not okay. Were you up there at all? Uh, no. Okay. The woman's responses are hesitant, their facade of innocence crackling under the weight of the officer's pointed questions. You weren't at Walmart at all? Yeah, we weren't. We didn't steal nothing. Okay. Well, just because you didn't steal anything doesn't mean that's not a problem. Okay. In the middle of questioning, the officer's phone rings. Hey, this officer Stella, how are you doing? I got the car, I got the girls, okay. Was it the girl in the light, the, the light blue, like, dress? Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, stay tuned on a light blue dress and white team on wearing a uh, good... With the caller giving a detailed description of the suspects. Uh, black jacket. With a red top? Yeah. Did they have a third friend with them that's kind of on the larger side? Mm, no, they're the only two that we saw in the store, they're the only two we saw in the vehicle. Okay, and they Looks like the women in the car are in for some serious trouble. For swapping barcodes and whatnot? Yep. Okay, all right. Um, I'll be up there shortly, okay? I'm going uh, to detain these guys right here, and I'm going to take them up there. I'm going to look at that uh, the footage, okay? And then we'll move forward from there, all right? Now that the officer has more details about the suspects... Can you step out the car for me, ma'am? For what? Because I'm telling you, sir. Step back here for me. Okay. He springs into action. Real quick. Am okay. I getting arrested? At this point in time, you're just detained, okay? Relax, relax. Thank you. And wouldn't you know it, one of them has an outstanding warrant. <laughs> Let's go to the front of the car for me. Okay. Go ahead and face the car for me. So I'm going to be straight up with you. You got a warrant, okay? Let me see your... Let me see your hands. Making matters legally worse. Put your hands on your back for me. So you have a warrant, okay? We're also going to address this... Uh, the officer clarifies why they're being held. How old are you? 19. 19? Have you ever been in trouble before? No. No? Okay. So this was going on. Okay, there's an incident that happened at Walmart. Okay. We're going to talk about it, okay? Let me explain, okay? And explains the next steps. Okay, the car, because I got to take you to Walmart. I got to look at this footage and ensure that it's you and what happened, okay? Are you okay with her parking the car right here at one of the parking stalls and waiting until we figure out entirely what's going on? Then he informs Amelia of her rights. So here's what's going on, okay? I'm going to read you something, okay? It's for me to talk to you. I got to read you this, okay? Yeah, the rights remain silent. <laughs> Having read those rights, do you understand your rights? Yeah. Understand As the conversation progresses, Amelia confesses to their wrongdoing. Clearly you're at Walmart, right? Yeah. You guys went in there, it was just you and... Can I pay for all the stuff that... Listen, it was you and Tammy, right? That went in there, because she stayed in the... The gravity of their situation starts to hit home. Y'all were switching barcodes on things? Yes. Okay. Well, I, I don't even know the items. What were the items that you guys were switching? Clothes. Clothes? Trying to just swap the, the clothes out for cheap items. And their attempts to deceive are no match for the solid evidence against them. You guys gonna pay for the items at the cheaper rate? Yeah. Okay. But can I pay for all this stuff? Let me, let me, so here's what's happened, okay? I do have to take you to Walmart. I have to see the footage to confirm that it is you. The officer decides to take them to Walmart for a first-hand review of the security footage. To be you, okay, we talked, I mean, clearly you were there. I'm gonna look at the footage, okay, I'm gonna talk with Walmart. They do want to press charges, okay, but if they want to work out some kind of different deal or something like that, then that's, that's gonna be their behalf. Ensuring the women face the reality of their actions.
Like, I want to press charges, then we're going to have to address that how we have to address that, okay? Who the hell is that? Huh? Who the hell would that be? It'd either be jail or a citation, okay? The focus shifts to Tammy, Amelia's partner in crime. Hey, how old are you? I'm um, 18. 18? Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Um, sit back for me and then look that way. With the officer revealing her outstanding warrants. You have one warrant. You might also have another one. So you might have two warrants. Okay, but for sure you have one warrant. One's for failure to pay fines and then the other one, we don't know yet. Uh, Tammy tries to give an explanation. That's the only warrant I have. That's for her warrants. Because uh, I had talked to the judge and he said I had a 90-day thing. I paid the uh, mark and then they called me early. But it doesn't change the officer's stance. I didn't pay, and I told him that I did, and then she told me that I would just have to talk to the judge, so that's what I was waiting on. And then, yeah. yeah, so you're, that one is for you to pay fine. Moments later, Tammy is also informed of her rights. Okay, so here's what happened, okay, I'm gonna read you something, okay, so it's for me to be able to talk to you about the stuff that happened at Walmart, okay? You have the right to remain silent. <laughs> you understand your rights. However, unlike her friend, Tammy isn't as forthcoming with the officer. Clearly, you guys were at Walmart. You and Amelia were in the store together, walking around, okay? Were you guys switching barcodes on clothes and stuff? Um, no. No? Okay, so if I go look at the video footage, it's not gonna... Sh she constructs an entirely different narrative. Okay, so what were you guys doing in the store then? Um, uh, well, I have a baby shower. Okay. Yeah, right now, so we're just going to look for the more diapers and other stuff that I could... Attempting to distance herself from the incident. Um, they didn't take anything. We're, uh going to scan it. I guess, I don't know what happened, I, something about pants, so the lady had said that we had only... Tammy persists in claiming it was all just a misunderstanding. And that we didn't scan the pants, so she was like, all right, well, what about the pants? And then she was like, well, this, you don't have the right butt, barcode on it. And she was like, okay. And I asked, I was like, okay, well, is there like another pair? Like, can we go get another... Unaware that her friend has already confessed to their shoplifting scheme. Possibly get another tag. Mm -hmm. And she was like, uh, she radioed someone uh, and then we were just like, it's okay, never mind, we're just gonna go with Okay. The officer then provides Tammy with a detailed explanation of the upcoming legal procedures and what to expect. So here's what's gonna happen, okay? We're gonna take you guys to Walmart, okay? I gotta look at this footage and confirm one that it's both you two, okay? And whether or not you, you shoplifted or not, okay? So if there's. At Walmart, the officer reviews the footage, which confirms his suspicions. Doses, label switch with this, the diapers are. Okay. She said she was just trying to go get stuff for a baby shower. That's really what she was talking about. Amelia. Amelia is then confronted about their crimes. I saw the entire thing, right? You scan you scan two items, and yeah. then you just start reaching across and putting them in the bags, okay? There was, you weren't attempting to scan them. It, it's not what it looks like at all, okay? Homegirl has made... The officer's narration of the footage to the suspects marks a pivotal moment of realization. The card, okay, she, you give her a bag, she starts putting in that bag, never even left the card to be attempted to scan, okay? Who put the, the, the different barcodes on the diapers? They've been caught red-handed, their earlier denials now void in the face of undeniable evidence. I'm not sure. Okay, you're not sure? Yeah, it, I don't know, because we're just grabbing things. You're just grabbing things? Okay. Yeah, those diapers are for... Um, so that, for when questioned about their motivations, this is Amelia's response. Yeah. Okay, so let me ask you this, okay? You have the money to pay for the items, yeah. but why are we why are we trying to get a fast one at Walmart? I don't know. Like, why? I don't know. Just... The officer then gives her a quick lecture, stressing how serious their actions were. You see what I'm saying? Like, if you have the money to, to take care of your business, right, is, is, is it worth all this trouble we're in right now? Yeah. You got the cops involved, you could have just bought your stuff and been on your way to this baby shower. I'm sure that's where you're going to, right? Even though Amelia offers to pay for the stolen goods at the last minute. But now we're here and we got the cops involved with something that you could have paid for. Can I pay for it all now? I can pop in there and talk with them. If they decline that, then that's going to be their decision, okay? The officer makes it clear that they still have to go through the legal process. Okay. She's going to jail regardless, okay? Let me pop in your ass if, if they're okay with you paying for all the items. Or not. If they are, then cool. If not, then we're going to address it the other way, which is the criminal way, okay? And then that Following the officer's decision to review the security footage... ...to be you, okay, we talked, I mean, clearly you were there. I'm going to look at the footage, okay, I'm on top of Walmart. They do want to press charges, okay, but if they want to work out some kind of different deal or something like that, then that's that's going to be their behalf. The Walmart security team promptly notifies the officer of their decision. Homegirl that was in the black, not the one in the blue dress, the other one. She's saying she's more than willing to pay for the items. Okay. That's all I had to ask. 
I, I had to ask because she's like, I have the money, I'll pay for it. Unfortunately for the shoplifters, luck isn't on their side, as the surveillance footage unequivocally captures their illicit activities. Soon after, Tammy and Amelia learn their fate. You're under arrest now for shoplifting, okay? She's under arrest for the same thing and her warrant, okay? okay. So you guys are both going to be going to jail today, okay? I'm going to stop by Brittany and let her know about the car stuff like I said I would. The officer, maintaining a professional demeanor, outlines the forthcoming legal procedures. We'll have court tomorrow. Use what is tomorrow? Monday? Yeah. You'll see the judge tomorrow, okay? So the judge decides the bond and all that stuff in terms of when you get out, okay? The women are then taken into custody. Walk in all the way. In the space of wall, I'm going to get one of the cuffs off you. Yep, keep walking. Keep walking. Oh. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Yep. The finality of their situation setting in as they are processed for shoplifting and their outstanding warrants. Go that back door. Yep, this is what I was last time. And then turn right, right here. Turn right, face the wall. Okay. The aftermath of their actions becomes glaringly obvious, signaling a rough end to their daring exploits, from a shoplifting spree to a lesson in accountability. Number three, Costco theft leads to woman's arrest. In Costco, a woman shoplifts liquor and other items, deftly hiding them in her bag amidst the bustling crowd of shoppers. As she exits, a Costco representative and the manager confront her, having seen incriminating footage of her bag. As the police arrive, How are you doing, man? Good, y'all. Good. good to see you again. I know, look at you. Uh, Ma'am, this is uh, Miss Heaven. Heather's demeanor reveals her confusion and denial. She uh, left the warehouse with these items in the I back. didn't leave the warehouse. Can you let them finish first and then I'm going to ask you? Okay. I called her right at the door there. Okay. With these items, this is in her hand. The cop listens as the Costco representative details her misdeeds. These two are in a bag. Okay. She has several other items in the bag that she concealed that she has not paid for. Okay. And you can put those on the table. Why do you have one for you? Heather sticks to her version of the story. I know the law because I never left your store. I never left the store until you're going to press charge. I never left the store. You said she went out the warehouse? No, I was at the door. Insisting that she did nothing wrong. Inside, here at the door. If you can stay with them and pull up and take real quick. Okay. okay. Never, left this, never left the store. You didn't? No. Okay. I never left the store. Despite her protests, the officer follows procedure. Laws. Huh? What is the law? The law. What is the law? Because I didn't leave here. Well, that's why he's going to look at the video. Okay. I wasn't here. Okay. They have it on video. Uh, the conversation shifts to Heather's identification. Call 911. I'm here to do a service. Um, but you don't have your ID on you. Yeah, it's in the car. Okay. Can you purchase wine without an ID? Her attempts to navigate the situation reveal her lack of understanding of the legal boundary she's crossed. As the conversation continues, Heather resorts to weaving a web of lies. You came out with these yes. lies. Okay. I've been in the store before. I came back in the store. I asked the girl at the front. Okay. It's in an attempt to deflect blame and complicate the situation with her excuses. To return those? The item back. Okay. When did you purchase them? Last week. Last week? Okay. And you got a membership so they can... The police question her further. Yeah, so, I do have a little temporary okay. thing, okay? But, yeah. but I use someone else's what I do. Someone else's membership. Okay, so you don't have a membership? Not my personal, no. Okay. Aiming to understand Heather's side of the story. Yeah, I should have told you that. But you use somebody else's so that they can pull up there to see if those items are on it. Trying to piece together the narrative, the officer asks for her information. My name is Heather. Yes. Spell that for me. H-E-A-D-E-N. And your last name? I don't really want to give my last name. Oh, I'm here to do it. However, Heather dodges the questions, showing reluctance to provide any details that could potentially link her to the theft. Investigation on that. Shoplifting. Okay, and I'm doing the investigation. Okay. They're pulling the camera. Her evasiveness only complicates matters. Okay. What's, What's your birthday? Well, when they finish pulling the camera, then what is your birthday? Give you that. What's your birthday? 
Let's see, finish. Can I give you that? No, because right now you're obstructing me from doing my job. What is with the officers growing increasingly frustrated by her obstruction. Is there is there relevant? What's your birthday? What? I just I, it's it's coming up. It's coming yeah, up. It's coming up soon. Heather continues to be incredibly difficult to deal with. The membership that you used. Who who membership did you use? Catherine Smith. Is that your sister? It's a relative. You have the membership card in you? making it challenging for the officers to get to the bottom of the situation. Meanwhile, the store manager steps in to explain Heather's actions. Conceal the items and left the work without paying. Okay, Which I didn't need the warehouse first. Ma'am, I'm, I'm listening. Okay. One, two was self concealed. Detailing how she tried to hide items and planned to walk out without paying. These got behind shelves I couldn't see the concealment, but okay. there's no receipt for I'm still pulling the tape for the rest of the items she took. Okay. okay. And she just gave the membership card. This revelation highlights the depth of Heather's predicament. ...to the young lady that was sitting right here. So she's going to, she said she purchased yeah, those yeah. items last week, date unknown. Yeah, and i show you the tape where she concealed herself in the main hard line. Despite her protests and confusion... She passed all points of sale. Yeah, but it's not at the warehouse. She has eggs in there and salmon. Okay. All this stuff came from the warehouse, but she didn't bring from there. Okay, but she passed the... The security footage speaks volumes. You walk past the registers. Yeah, I got her coming out here. You're going to see her stop here for a second, ask some kind of question, and she just considered on that side. Showing her bypassing the checkout with unpaid goods. So you go through the register without paying? Right there? Went right through the register without paying? See? Mm -hmm. Right register, and you're going to see her here. Go, she's going to go to the front end. Well, well, well. It looks like Heather is in for some serious trouble. She gonna stop right here? Like she asking a question? See her back there? Mm-hmm. See? Right through the race without paying. Well, she gonna stop, turn around, adjust her back. Despite her efforts to explain herself. There she go, straight outside. I stopped her right there, identified myself. I told her she may have had some items she didn't purchase, like the book. And what she the solid evidence captured on camera is challenging to refute. I'm from a greater power. Mm -hmm. That's all she keeps saying. Heaven from a greater power. I'm having a greater power. Because I saw her, when I called him, an employee came to me and said, hey. Costco employees don't hold back as they reveal every detail of Heather's scheme to the officer. I'm another dairy box when I saw her. She yes. was chocolate and shambly No, no, this is, a, this is something so okay. chocolate. But when I finally got in and got her, she had the rosé in her hand in the book. Leaving no stone unturned. How about Heartline? Open the bag and put the rosé in and tell the book. I tell the bag is too full and she, she can't take no more. It's technically the register, like she didn't leave the store. When she got With all the necessary information at hand, the officer swiftly takes action. Mm -hmm. Smith, okay, what I'm gonna need you to do is put your hands behind your back for me, okay? Okay, huh? Or you okay. being placed under arrest for shoplifting. <laughs> Effectively sealing Heather's fate. Put your hands together like you're praying. No, 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 no. The bracelet, can I take the bracelet off? Well, well. In the end, after a thorough investigation and discussion with authorities, Heather is formally charged with theft and obstruction. Okay, thank you. Oh, let me give you a case card. N Nebraska, let me give you a case card. Number two. Shoplifter acts clueless after stealing $700 worth of candles. Officers were called to Bath and Body Works regarding a habitual shoplifter who stole 18 candles totaling $700 in value during her visits. According to the staff, this is what she would do. What happened to your shoes? Um, we came in, grabbed a basket, um, filled it up, grabbed another basket. This is her usual. I do not physically see her when she was... They begin to detail the woman's scheme. And how she would bag their products like it was no big deal. And then went back to film more, and then she grabbed some gift sets on her way out. And she had our wallflower wall. Um, and you, yeah. you, you physically saw this happen, like all of this occur, like yeah. what she grabbed and everything? The officer investigates further. What time did you, did you see her like come in and did you see this occur? Just a ballpark, it doesn't have to be exact. I would say I put 447 on the report, that's about when I told uh, my manager. Meticulously compiling relevant information. Mm -hmm. She came in and they proceeded to call the police. Mm -hmm. um, and the police say she and I 
Like and noting the speed at which the suspect managed to steal items and flee. That in four minutes? Yeah, she's very quick. She'll, it usually takes her longer now to walk out the door since she's pregnant mm -hmm. than to come in and grab the stuff. After filling her first basket, she doesn't stop. When she came in. So she immediately grabs her basket mm -hmm. and heads straight to our regular candle wall. Mm -hmm. um, she filled up that one with those candles and then she grabbed. Instead, she persists and continues her spree. Um, she got that one. She went to the second candle wall and grabbed a few candles. Mm -hmm. um, and then our wallflower wall where she grabbed some of the fancy plugs. With her baskets now overflowing, she makes her way to the exit, bypassing the checkout counters and confirming the employee's suspicions. And then she made her way this way, exiting, and then grabbed some of our gift bags in one of her hands, and then exited. Gotcha. She's stealing. And she's doing it with a confidence that comes from repeated success. Doing a lot more of that lately. Usually she just got candles. Yeah. But then now she's starting to grab like gift sets and all the other extra yeah, stuff. Gift bags. And she filled up. The officer then asks about getting access to the security footage. Um, as far as like uh, like footage, how would that work with you guys? Do you, do, um, do you so have to we, request it or something? Yeah. So we have um, an asset protection partner. We have two of them. Um, Fortunately, the store's security cameras have captured her every move. We send them over the police report number, mm -hmm. they'll work with you guys, they'll work with Detective Hansen um, to be able to get them that footage gotcha. that they've been doing so far. And then now I put in peace. The police respond swiftly and locate the woman in a different store. Caught and confronted by the police, the woman decides to do this. But of course, there's no escaping from the consequences of her actions. Why are you messing with me? With the For what? The officers express their disbelief in her predicament. You call it already? Yes. Oh my God. Are you pregnant? Yes, I'm and you're doing all this stuff. Why she thought fleeing was a wise decision is a mystery. Can you get my phone, please? Where'd you drop it? In okay. the lake? Yeah, well, well. Where? Maybe you shouldn't have ran. You should have thought of that. The woman is informed of her charges. What am I being charged with? We have two, two charges pending for theft. Two charges been pending yeah. for theft. Yeah. She claims ignorance about the stolen items. I have two charges for them. Well, that's life. Anything else in your pocket? No. Unless Despite the clear evidence stacked against her. Do I have two charges? Put your other leg in. For them. Turn off camera. Now in the back of the police car, the woman is questioned about her physical condition. No, Diabetes, high blood pressure. No, no. Are you? You said you're feeling pain in your stomach. Yeah, in the bottom. And her medical history. Pregnancy has it been normal for the yes. entire pregnancy? Yes. Here about six months, you said. Yeah. All right. I You've been taking too. your prenatal vitamins. There's yeah. no precautions from the doctors, anything like that. No, I just go. The woman begins to negotiate her case. I'm not gonna run no more. Y'all already know who I am. I don't need an extra charge. I'm not gonna keep trying to run. I'm already so wet, so. the car, the only way. I'm letting you make all the choices for you. I'm just giving you the. The police, unmoved by her pleas. Already, I have a warrant. So you, you do understand you were caught on video inside the store that day. Mm -hmm. Oh, you said was I in the store on Friday? Proceed with the questioning, unraveling the details of her swift shoplifting operation. We're on video. That's the yeah, answer. It didn't take 25 cameras. Did you take any cameras? How about one? No. You still ain't. Despite the mounting evidence, the woman sticks to her narrative of innocence, denying any wrongdoing. Did you leave this store without paying for your merchandise? Mm -hmm. Did you buy something? No. No? They discuss the evidence with her, mentioning the security footage that captured her actions, the quick timeline of her theft, and her previous encounters with law enforcement for similar offenses. Wow. December before Christmas. 
same store. I probably was in there. I was in the prison. Still, she acts clueless. Repeatedly offering the same response to the officer's inquiries. Candles? No. Did you steal any candles? <laughs> Did you steal any candles? Despite their persistent efforts to uncover her lies. Leaving the store with candles. No. That's not a real video. That's not me. I wasn't stealing. She remains resolute in her denial and steadfastly refuses to admit any wrongdoing. Who were you with? You said you were with someone else. A friend. What's her name? Or his name? Her name is Cece. The officer gives her one final chance. Means that in December, you did not exit the store with 18 candles. No. That you did not pay for. About but she evades the topic instead of facing it head on. Then they got a warrant for, out for me for this. The woman was ultimately arrested and charged with resisting an officer, fleeing and eluding, and theft exceeding $700. Number one, shoplifters' emotional appeals fall flat during arrest. The usual calm of a local store is disrupted when employees spot a woman slipping items into her bag. The authorities are called, and this is what happens next. As the police arrive on the scene, the woman caught in the act scrambles to piece together her defense. You know, you know, we're playing on Sonic, right? Uh, you know, so it's got like 10 or 15 little pieces that go to it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if she's comparing it, but exactly. Trying to come up with excuses to justify her actions. However, her attempts quickly escalate into a full-on drama queen mode. Comparing it or whatever, it's been up for two days, been in the boat, shit, and uh, I don't know if it's a, a mix-up or what happened here, but, uh, I think she's the only person, like, repeating this. As she tries to garner sympathy from the officer with emotional outbursts. I've got some of them in the car, I think, and I think I've got a picture of it to show what exactly we're talking about here, but... Maybe she wasn't thinking maybe she's, I mean, uh, um, we're, we're both from here, we know Rick real well and he's the place. Arrow, he's Despite her dramatic display, the officer remains unfazed. I can't hear you over her throat. Babe, calm down. I don't know. I work off and on for years. Yeah. Uh, not the place to take anything. We all know that. No, yeah, yeah. Uh, Maintaining a professional demeanor amidst her theatrics. However, the woman persists in her dramatic behavior. Over what? Uh, like a little brass fitting. Something simple for a bell. The bell that we're selling to Oh. So... Somehow I remember some of the pieces for it ended up on Filling the air with tearful apologies. Uh, this is where the back elbow works. We've come in twice with the bow, and I think I'm she got mixed up with the fitting of the left foot. I don't know. Um, okay. Whatever it is, it's a simple like brass fittings for this. It's hard to determine if her apologies are genuine or simply a result of getting caught. I'm planning on selling it, but... Okay. Um, the reason she, she's pretty out of bed, she is nervous, she looks so paramount. And this would you know, cause a lot of problems. The officers, trained to deal with such incidents, listen to her, but remain focused on the task at hand. Well, he's showing the other officers back there talking to Rick. Oh my god, they got it. I think you can hear our audio, too. What are you talking about? They need to cut through the noise. You steal a stupid brass thing. Because you can do it. Oh my god. I've never worked for Rick. I thought I was paid for it. Separate fact from fiction and determine the truth. The woman, on the other hand, is still neck deep in her theatrics. Her desperate pleas are echoing all over the store. Getting even louder as they try to calm her down. Hmm? Oh try to calm her down. Oh 
Emotions reach a peak as the woman's voice echoes through the space. Alternating between pleading. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm with a panic attack. Do you know that? <sighs> and attempting to reason. You don't have the handle thing, even though it's the same for you. I know. I just wanted to see those pages he's saying are his, and the ones that don't have stickers on them. They might, I think, they're more. Her narrative becomes a patchwork of details, mentioning items like a brass fitting for a bell. It's the bell we're playing on. A lot of different things. Yeah, you brought it here. We have brought it in for you. Uh, I'm thinking I don't know if we brought it here. I brought it to the lady. I don't no, know. No, over at the. Yeah, it might be here. Which she adamantly claims are part of a legitimate transaction that went wrong. Dropped that stupid that battery thing we were looking at. I dropped it and the alarm started going off. So I was walking. I can tell him, but I don't know why I'm making this noise. <laughs> and just. She keeps on rambling about how it was all a massive misunderstanding. I need to check your bag. Okay, you put them on the counter. You literally freak the f out. Yeah, he, he's pretty good. You know, Rick is. You know, Rick is. Trying to justify every action that brought her to this point. Do you have a flashlight? I was trying to show you my hand, but I wasn't. Dollar. I think he's in a question. A little piece of brass. Brass for a bag. That's what he's saying. The conversation with the police drags on. With the woman's explanations growing more desperate. However, if she truly is as innocent as she insists, then why is she acting so frantic and defensive? I know, I know. Nobody, nobody didn't take from Rick. We know this ain't the place to take anything from. Oh my god, um, I'm so embarrassed. The drama unfolds further. Thousands of dollars or more. It's so hard. Like where it is right now. As the woman's emotional roller coaster continues, despite her boyfriend's attempts to soothe her. She remains deeply entrenched in her emotional turmoil. Holy cow. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Put the fear of God in both of us here. It's just really all I'm thinking is I'm gonna While her personal revelations may be touching. Have you your information yet or no? Uh, yes. I just see an ID on the floor. So yeah, okay. right. I'm not mine, but. Yes, he did. Already got they do little to sway the officer's duty to uphold the law. Do me a favor, stand up for me. I'm gonna help you up. I got it, I got it. Okay. I put my head on. No, just put it right there on the table. You don't need it. Put your hands behind your back. As the cuffs click into place, the harsh reality of her situation becomes undeniably clear. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't pull away. The unfortunate reality is that her fate remains unchanged. Despite her continued efforts to explain herself, the officers stand firm in their resolve. Grab a bunch of items and put it in your bag. That's what do you want to show? Yeah, I, 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 I got my bag. But I I mean, that's the, the law leaves no room for negotiation. She must face the consequences of her actions. And I need to me, I need my. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be out there in a second, okay? Watch your stuff. As she's led away, the woman's narrative becomes a monologue of despair. Her voice a blend of fear, anger, and resignation. You saw me walk in. I don't, I don't have a clue. Oh my god. 
The officers, meanwhile, remain stoic bearers of law. Go right here to the hood. Their actions dictated by protocol and necessity. My car, there's nothing on your person nothing, that we didn't find. No control all. substance. Nothing at all. Nothing. That would be additional charge, I, I have know, to tell you. So I, I believe you. Yeah. We're not no, going to go through right. your pants or anything. After all the theatrics, here she is, seated in the back of the patrol car. All right, please me, sit down bar first. Bar first. Yeah. And try to slide I had a back. sweater and stuff in, in okay. my bag too. Then this all count. Still, the drama doesn't die down. Go anywhere, please, 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 please. In the end, the woman is taken into custody and charged with first-degree petty theft, marking the final chapter in the saga of her unfortunate choices. And that's a wrap on some of the most poorly thought-out heists in history. While the emotionally distraught woman certainly made a scene, the candle thief who attempted to escape from the police came very close to her level of bad decision-making. Let us know your top pick in the comments section. Also, check out our other stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. See you next time.